You can see here I've hand drawn out a template that I'm now I'm going to cut out with a scroll saw. Now that we have the template cut, we'll be able to make both the left side and the right side by trace, tracing this pattern out onto the boards that we're going to use to make the supports. This is the material that we're going to be using today. This is very pretty poplar wood that is uh, originally rough sawn um, straight from the mill. So it's going to need to be planed. Uh, of course you can use a thickness planer, joiner. Um, I myself like to use hand planes um, and this board has been roughly hand planed uh, so it's in the it's flat it's square um, it's just not absolutely smooth which we'll take care of that later what we're going to do is we're going to start out by using the template that we just cut out on the scroll saw we're going to line up the pieces once we have that down, we are going to go ahead and trace it out. So here it is traced out. Now we're going to go ahead and make its partner. And now we will be ready to cut it shape. That piece is ready. Okay, so now what we have is we have two pieces ready to go. Now we just need to repeat the process two more times because we need three braces total. Alright, to prepare these pieces for the scroll saw, you're going to need a hole to put your blade through. And you want to make sure that you put it inside the pattern, the part that you're going to be cutting out, the waste part. Make sure you use a backer board if you're going to be drilling on top of anything that you don't want to hold in like my table saw. Doesn't matter if it's straight, it's just going to be putting the blade through it, it's going to be gone when you're finished anyway. Alright, our next step is getting ready to scroll saw out the pattern. Okay, using a roundover bit, we take our three pieces. This is the center section, and you're going to round over both sides here, and this side as well. This is the center section. Then you are going to take your left section, and you're going to round over the outside corner only like that and then you're going to take your right section and you're going to round over the outside of it as well so then what you're left with is something with a profile like this what we're going to do next is we're going to look at what we want to do to detail this out and this out and the drawing doesn't have to be perfect we're going to extend this out this extend this to make it look like a fishtail I guess and extend this one out Extend that just a little bit. And I'm going to throw some shapes in here. Kind of break up the monotony of this a little bit. And make sure we extend all of our sides out. 
All right. Now we're going to put a couple of leaves in here. We're going to uh, break out um, well, any multitude of tools that you want to use. Um, I never thought of this. Easy Swan brought this one up uh, in a couple of videos ago. Um, he uses a razor knife. Uh, I actually tried that for the first time. It works surprisingly well. All right, I have what uh, is really a half worn out Dremel tool. It's a rotary tool. Um, I like to use this carving bit. You can get straight off the shelf. Um, see if we can focus in on that a little bit. Um, there we go, a little bit. Uh, you can get that straight off the shelf at uh, one of your big box stores. All right. So this is going to help us use it like a router. Okay. Um, we're going to start out by routing these shapes out, slowly going down to the depth. We're going to do it in steps. All right, so we've taken it <clears throat> down all the steps that we want to take it. So now we're going to remove this piece off. Just twist right on off. Okay, now we're going to just catch the edges to get all this little material off. Now, we're going to go ahead and make the stem for this. And we're going to do so by holding it at an angle and starting in steps. We're going to make a light line, and then we're going to keep it light from the end and go heavier as we go in. Okay, so what we have now is everything completed on all three of the braces as far as the, the extreme detail work. Next we've taken a plank and we've just made sure that we had a square side. I mean all, all four sides are square, but um, the plank was longer than this so I just cut off a piece. I didn't even bother to measure it other than to make sure that it was bigger than what I needed. Uh, it's going to mount here. 
um, we're going to cut this to length in a minute but what I like to do is go ahead and route what I want to on the board so that way if I get any tear out I've got a little extra to um, to straighten it back out I didn't have any tear out on this board so it's longer than what I need uh, we'll make a measurement we'll cut it to length um, we've done that for for both of these pieces now the way that this is gonna be is this is going to attach to the brace like this and the brace is gonna sit just like that mounted to the wall this board gives them something to screw to So there's one. And there's the second. All right, here are two of the three finished braces. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it and making these. And whew, as with making anything, we end up with a dirty shop again. So it's time for me to clean it and time for you to like and share or subscribe or all of it that would be awesome and I'm gonna have to get busy cleaning up some of this man glitter so thanks for joining me here at the urban woodworking shop have a great day